Coach, this was an unbelievable game, like a roller coaster ride here. How important do you think the fans were uh, to give your team energy to, to get over the top down the stretch? Well, that red night energy is always the, so, you know, it always plays a huge factor. It's 20 points. 20 you know, points? 20 points in the game. In yeah. the NFL, you only get about three from <laughs> home field advantage. And, uh, they, 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 you know, I, it, not many people play in front of this, you know, and I think the beauty for us is that, I mean, we do this regularly, you know, and, you know, uh, hats off to Vertical Academy and Mikey Williams, and, you know, they're changing the game, you know what I mean? They're, they're changing the game in so many different ways. He's going to be a successful young man on and off the court, you know, um, you know, through his character, his personality, many people, you know, are drawn to him, but, uh, you know, so we didn't need them to fill the house the way we did today. But, you know, that's what we do at all times. But with that being said, you know, I think it played a major factor because they don't play, you know, in front of that. You know, a lot of their teams don't bring that type of energy. You know, they don't have that fanfare, you know. And I think every program deserves that, you know. So as much as they brought us an experience playing against them, and, you know, I'm sure the social media will go crazy tonight. Listen, the experience we brought them is that they came here ready to play today. You know, so, and they're not used to that. When you see the gyms, Hey, they might pack 500 people with a small, you know, gym that looked like Spooky Nook or something, you know. It's, so, uh, Ruben Rodriguez had the go-ahead layup and went over a thousand points for his career. What makes him such a special guard? I mean, Ruben is just a winner. You know, he's had games that we've won, won by 20. He's had 7.6 assists. You know, he's done some amazing things in, on, at many different levels for us. Um, he just. He's humble, he's vulnerable, you know, he comes to the table just wanting to win and wanting to help his teammates and uh, do whatever it takes to get over the top. He's a born winner, you know, he's, he's done that since, since his youth. How about the steal that Miles Gray came up with there in the, in the, in the final seconds? Listen, his name is, first of all, Wiles Trey, all right? Wild, because when he's on the floor, he's just always wilding. Okay, and Trey, we know what that means. But he just, I, I mean, to, to the audacity. <laughs> you know, to just really press up on somebody like that, and you know, man on oh man, and that's what we pride ourselves in. But Miles, I think that was his intent the whole time, you know, and to get on the floor, the grittiness, and I think that was the difference in the game. You know, we took three charges, we were all over the floor constantly. You know, we made all those little plays where they made big plays. You know, they can make very skillful plays. The skill set is out of control. You know, uh, we're not blessed with that, but they don't play, you know, with that grit. You know, as well as we do. Your bench had uh, some nice contributions. You know, Aris Rodriguez comes in, hits a couple threes. Do you think your depth was a, a big advantage against them tonight? Most certainly. I mean, it was eight to our seven, our, our eight to their seven. You know, but uh, you know, I, I think those guys who came off just made all the little plays, and then you get the threes from Adis. You know, Adis can really play. You know, he hasn't seen the ball go in the hoop much this year. It's going to go down. Adis' time is coming. So we know uh, what those guys all bring to the table. We can extend to 9 and 10, you know, but that 8, I mean, is, is just bringing it consistently. Archbishop Wood tomorrow night. I think you played him last year in a fairly important game. How much are you looking forward to that at the Geigel? I'm looking forward to this. It's a different brand of basketball. I want to see what we do emotionally coming into tomorrow. How do we prepare tonight? How do we... Uh, you know, game plan, how do our coaches turn around, how do I turn around, our players, you know, and prepare for tomorrow. Um, that's huge. You know, we're going to have a little bit of a late night tonight um, and an early morning, but, you know, we'll come in hopefully with some semi-fresh legs uh, tomorrow, and it's a different brand of basketball. John Mosco is, I mean, he, he's amazing, you know, so he's going to have some things drawn up for us. Uh, you know, he plays in the tough league at all times, so I think he has a different basketball team. You know, he's not not so talented, so I think they're going to play differently than what we experienced last year. Well, thanks for your time as always. Get some rest and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.